Welcome to I Love Stocks. What a beautiful Wednesday morning. Right now it's 2.31 a.m. in Missouri. Getting ready to head out to work and wanted to do a little watch list on the EV cars and a few pullbacks on the pot stocks. So let's go ahead and check out the EV. Let me see what I got here. I notice that the futures are down a little bit and it looks like they're going down a little bit more. I think we're going to have a red day today, maybe a little stronger at the end. It depends what kind of news comes out. So the futures are definitely in the red this morning. And here's my watch list on my EV cars. I'm going to move it over here to the side. So we'll keep a good eye on it. We're going to look at Nile. Nile right off the bat. This is my SMA chart that I use a lot. I like got my RSI on it just to see if we're oversold areas. But I think with the news that's coming out here on the electric cars, I did have a pivot point area in the 20-day channel at 43.67. We almost pulled right back to it. I think we can pull back to this lower support on the 20-day. And that's right around 38.64 and 39.58. Now, we did fail the 200 SMA on the 20-day, and the 50 is crawling down. And if this crosses down over the 200, we could have this dip down here to right around 38.64. I'd like to see that hold. If not, it'll go lower. Niles had some issues here. I mean, not Nile, but uh, there there is some controversy going on in China right now with regulations, and I think there's 200 electric car companies. So they're all gonna. Some of them are gonna fail, and some of them are gonna go strong. I think Nile will be on that top list but it needs to have a little correction. That's Nile. The next one we'll look at, let me see here on the old EV watch list. We got XPEV. Here's another one that I called out yesterday. We did have a nice bounce pre-market, but it did pull back pretty hard. Now this is a solid support here at 5124. You can see it right here. If that holds, we can retrace back up and maybe get into a, a, a mid Oh, I don't know, probably right around this 53.38. Not that it hit the 200, but much that it, it's a pivot point in this channel right in here. So our support level for right now is going to be this 51.24. If that fails, we could pull back to this lower support at 46.22 with a stronger buy at 41.57 XP. Now this one's had a pretty nice little run, so... Everything has pulled back for last week. That's another one. Here's Nikola. Bad news with General Motors. It did hit my 1757. Called it out in yesterday's video when it was up here a little bit higher. I think it can pull back to this 1462 NKLA. Tesla. Tesla's my bull of the market. We are pulling back to a support channel here. I'd like to see it hold this 560 area. If not, we're going to have a strong buy down here at 545 and maybe build back up. But if it decides to really have a bad day, I love this 502 area to hold. That was our other resistance to break. We did break it and we ran up pretty good. So maybe a little pullback to 545.83 to hold and then retrace back up. That's Tesla. Let's look at Solo. Solo dip down to my lower support. I do have this one here was uh, beat up on Centron. It did pull back to my support level I had here at 766. But I had a final straw down here at the sending triangle horizontal line at 695. Now I think it can pull back more now with all the kind of weakness in the little weakness we see in the EV market. 568 is going to be my lowest support with a pivot point in this channel right here, right at 627. So we got 695 to hold or to break, 627 and 568 for a strong buy. That's solo. Let's see, futures are still steady at 156 in the red. Let's look at, if, let's look at see if we got any more. Let's see if we got any more car stocks to look at here. I think I have a few more. Workhorse. I can't remember if I talked about it or not, but I don't think I did. It had some news, too, that wasn't too hot. 
workhorse shares fall and delayed USPS mail truck division. That was a huge, huge deal for them. I think this thing can drop down to around 15, but we got a 20 day support right here at 1641. So that 1518 or 1641, I'd be short in this one too. You might have a little bounce up, find some weakness right up in right about in 20, a little under 20, and then pull back down and this needs to hold this support of 1860. If it doesn't hold that, we can pull back to 1841. I mean 1641 to 1518 and that is workhorse that's the pot stock watch list let's see if we got anything else in here NKLA 1462 Tesla we talked about candy candy's pulling back candy um, what was candy's deal candy had some uh, Short seller report says it might be false allegations, but still yet, I think with the car, EV car stocks going down, this can follow with it. So I got a 718 for a low support, and that's KNDI. Let me see if we got anything else on here that is mentionable. Blink and plug. This next one we're going to talk about. Blink's going to pull back to a slower support of 1956. It needs to hold. If not, we'll drop down to another support level, 1724, and then maybe right down here at 1536. So we did break a major support level right here at 2380 something, and she did pull back. So I'll be watching this this morning too, along with Plug. They're all taking hits. It's just that time where all the bad reports come out. We're at the closing of the year. People are going to take profit. I got a 2182 support on plug. I think it can pull down to 2182 with a strong buy at $20. And Kramer kind of messed up plug yesterday, kind of beating down on it. So we're going to go ahead and check out a little bit on the uh, on the pot sector. Here's the pot sector. We've got few of them on the list we got IGC it took a hit yesterday found a little support down here right here at these two little double tops where we had the triple top breakout at 181 I think IGC could probably pull back a little bit more here maybe down here to right around the 159 area for a strong buy if it wants to reverse we got hexo I played Hexo yesterday, scalped it on the way up, right in here, hit my mark at 111, I think I got out, 112 something, pulled back to 107. Now I think Hexo can pull back more. This is one that had some controversy a while back with numbers. And I like this support level right here at 103, but I don't know about that. I think we can start to find support. Oh, this here looks nice too, 99. Lower support 93, 99, and 102. Resistance to break is going to be this 112 area. Hexo. Let's see what else is on here. ACB. ACB is going to take another hit here. I think it can pull back. Find this lower support channel right down here, right around 7, 669. Or maybe 733. Let me see here. 746. And then you got this top area right down in here. We got to kind of put that 803 in there. And then another one right here. And another one right here. So those are my, my support areas. I think we can pull back. I mean, if it wants to stay strong, it needs to hold this support area right here at 997 and move back up. That are pulled back to the low support right around 670. And that should hold. And that's ACB. And there's a couple of others on here. Cron. Cron is one of my stronger ones. I don't know. I think we've got a support level right here at 818, 791, and then maybe right down here at 763 for pullbacks. 
There's another one. Let me see here. CGC. CGC pull back to this lower support of 2465. Maybe retrace back up to the 200. If that holds on the 20 day. Actually, I'm going to clear this chart out. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Looks a little messy. Can't suck lower reports of company layoffs. This year's had huge company layoffs. I'm kind of shocked about that. So that's not going to be a good sign either for CGC. Or is that ACB? Yeah, it was ACB that was having the layoffs. So you got to keep that in mind. Yeah, ACB, that's that's real bad about ACB there and layoffs. So maybe we'll pull back to this 200 on the 20 day, right around 2543. Find a solid support right down here, right around 2478. I'm looking at the 20 day. We do have an RSI down here. Could have a nice little fine support level. So this is going to be the one that needs to hold 2622. If that doesn't hold, we're going to fall back down and find some support down here in this lower channel. And that's going to be CGC. And I know there's a lot more to talk about. Cron. That 761 area, solid support for Cron. I'm looking at that 200 EMA or it falls back in this channel right in here between 663 and 763. Is going to be the lower support. So I'm going to be looking at puts today on the car industry and the pot stocks because they've had such an elaborate run. I think there can be a pullback. So this is I Love Stocks. After market report, be sure to hit that little Twitter bird right there. We'll follow some of these stocks today and see how they run. I'm going to be a little patient today. Hit that follow button. We added more subscribers yesterday. As we keep doing these videos, we keep adding more. And we also have our stock twits up here. I've got up to 3K on that. We use TrendSpider as a platform too when I'm trading. TrendSpider.com. If you follow the link, you can get a discount through TrendSpider through our affiliate with I Love Stocks. Now I want everybody to have a great day. And let's enjoy the rest of the Santa Rally.